Hey, Adam. Great to see you with our episode today of Old and New. We're looking at wellness and exercise after 50. What are you wearing? You look great yeah, now. Yeah, I'm excited about this one because I'm wearing workout clothes. You're wearing workout clothes. Some of the crew is wearing workout clothes because we're going to talk about fitness today, but we're also going to move. We're Moving? Gonna, yeah, we're wait, wait, wait. Do we even rent a truck or something? We do not need a truck for this. Moving? We are moving our bodies because the best way to do this is to experience it. We're going to have a teacher who uh, oh. has done NIA for many years. You'll learn a little bit more about what NIA is. Good. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Well, it's exactly what we do here at Old and New. Figure out new ways to age gracefully and joyfully from 50 to 100. So Yeah, so you're going to meet Roseanne Russell shortly. Um, we'll also spend some time with Alice Godet, who's one of her students. I've taken classes with both of them upwards of 10 years now. Cool. Great. So you know what I say? Let's get moving. Yeah. Okay. Roseanne Russell is here with me today. Roseanne is a NIA instructor, black belt NIA instructor, a NIA white belt trainer, and also a yoga instructor. Let's find out what she has to say about fitness over 50. Roseanne, tell Hello. me. Hello. Hi, Hi, everybody. Doing? Tell me about the NIA movement. It's N-I-A. Is that the word? NIA? It's NIA, yes. Okay. NIA and, technique. And what it will do for people over 50. Oh, Nia is an awesome way of moving your body because what it does is it invites you to get into your body, get out of your head, come into sensation, and dance your dance. Sounds great. So what's the plan today? I am I know we're going to do a class. I'm a beginner. I hurt my knee and my back isn't so great. I hope that you can ease me into this. I can ease you into this. Yeah. Every Nia class has modifications and we offer you choices and, and to get into your body and to move safely, but also efficiently and to get the most out of every movement. Now, I noticed we're barefoot. Do you, you have to do Nia with bare feet? Well, Nia is designed for being barefoot. All the movements are safe. It's a low impact class, though we do have some gentle jumping. Um, but if your feet, you need to take care of your feet. We actually want everybody to take care of their own movements, their own body. And so if you need to wear shoes, you can wear shoes. People sometimes wear soft soled shoes. Um, but it's really up to you. I think we're going to go barefoot this time. <laughs> so where can people learn more about you and your classes? Oh, yes. I have a website, Move to Joy, and that's the number two. So it's M-O-V-E, number two, J-O-Y, dot com. Great. And also, just a quick reminder, we'll be putting more about Nia on our Facebook page, which you already are friends with, I'm sure, and like a lot. It's Old and New TV. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, let's dance. Okay. All right, everybody, we are ready to begin. Go ahead and bring your hands together. <sighs> Sense your feet underneath you. And let's get ready to step in. Take those hands behind you. Right foot. Right foot. Now let's take it to the side. Left foot. How about we look to the right and look forward. And now look left. Let's release our hands. Everybody, sense your hands. Now 
everybody, get ready to reach to the sky. Here we go. And push. Nice. Look up. And look out. Get ready to pull from the sky. Reach up. Pull it down. Nice. Now make a fist with me. And then shake it off. <laughs> nice, Naomi. Use that fist. Shake it off. <laughs> Keep that fist. Last time. Mm. Now reach it up. Press. <laughs> now get ready to stay. Take that right foot. Hands on your thigh. Softly sink with me. Now reaching up, big yawn. Let's take the right foot back. Place your hands on your thigh and softly sink. And then rolling up. Let's take both feet together, big yawn. Exhale. Let's get ready. Right foot. Right here. Now, let's do that move a little bigger. Good. Big move. Maybe sink with me and rise. Everybody, set your feet. to the earth and then up let's reach low big reach <laughs> everybody sense your back Right hand on the thigh and slowly rolling up. Big stretch. Exhale. And take the left foot forward and sink. Oh, roll up. Take the shoulders, shake them off. Now bring your feet together. We call this close stance. Now pick up left foot, open stance. We call this the stance dance. Pick up the foot, A stance, and then sumo stance. Let's do that together. We've got closed stance, right foot, open, A. Say it with me, ready? Sumo. Close. Maybe give me a little dance with the hips. Open. A stance. All right, you know what's next. Ready? Ha! <laughs> Let's do it again. Here we go. Close. Open. A. Ha! Close. Release right here. Reach up. Now step forward. Big push. Right foot. Take it back. 
Maybe reach, get right under it. Ready? Push. Big push. Let's do it again. Here we go. Reach. And push. Good. Now let's stay here. Find those hands. Shake it off. Get ready for left foot back. There it is. Left foot. Reach. Now step up. Ready? Push. Big push. Nice. Step back. Here's our push. Nice. All right. Shake it off. Shake it off. You're going to stay right over there. Shake it off. I can't see Alice. I need to see you. Here we go. Close dance. Hips. All right, let's add a little bit more intensity. So we've got close, open, A. Now give me that punch. Ha! Everybody. Close. A. A. Do you know what's next? Ha! <laughs> let's take those hands. How about mine? How about sync with me? Ha! <laughs> Open. A. Ha! Two more. Ooh. How about we reach up? Here we go. Ha! <laughs> All right, let's get ready to stay. Left foot, take it back. Now, big push. Push with me. Push front. Again. Here we go. Reach. We're going to push. Stay here. Right foot. Back. Ready? Big push. <laughs> Haley, do not start riding a horse. Do not start riding a horse. <laughs> big push. <laughs> Left side. Ready? Ha! <laughs> ha! Oh, we did it. We nailed it. Last time, left side. Last time. You ready? Ha! <laughs> ha! Nice job. All right, I'm going to come back with you. We're going to walk forward. And then we're going to take those arms back. We're going to find our dance, Hallie. We're going to find it. Here we go. Now take it back. And up. Now we're going to a little crisscross. Right here. Take it back. And here. Let's take it. All right. Now take that right foot, arms up. Take that right foot around the left. Left side. <laughs> Guess what we are? <laughs> All right. Let's go. You ready? Now give me your walk. Now give me a new walk. Show me a new personality. Yeah, maybe you want to come up. <laughs> maybe you want to come up on the ball of foot. Maybe you want to be a little bit more street smart here. Ready? Here we go. Look a little tough with me. Give me your gangster self. Here we go. We're walking. Take it back. And walk. Nice. All right, let's take it. Right side. Left side. Reach up. Big breath in. Let's take that left foot. Nice. We got it. Stay here. Give me a little drumming. 
stomach. Maybe back and hands. And stay. Now options, you can stay here, you can take your hand down, maybe you step back, maybe you come up. Make sure you cook both sides. Nice. All right, take it anywhere in this space. Stay in that space, let's go. What are you looking for? Here we go. <laughs> All right, you ready? All right, last time. Take those hands, everybody. To the sky, right foot. Take it around. Left side. What are you? We're free. Here we go. Free. Last time, stay here. Nice. Last time. And get ready. Just step out into your day. Thank you. <laughs> so thanks so much for teaching us, uh, Alice. Thanks for joining us. And Howie, thanks for the new dance moves. I have a question just to start off. I've known you for over 10 years, but I have no idea how or why you started doing Nia. Oh, well, I started doing Nia at a fitness center. Started taking classes and I fell in love with it. I loved how it made me feel. I loved everything about it, and I knew I never wanted it to not be a part of my life. So I ended up taking the white belt training, and it was just for personal growth. It was just for me to experience more Nia, to get to know Nia better, to get to know my body better, to get to know myself better. And from that, I, became, I started teaching. But I didn't actually take the white belt to become a teacher. I did it all for personal growth. Great. Mm -hmm. So. You teach a lot of classes during the week, and there's all different age levels, experience levels. How do you tailor it and, and make it right for beginners, experts, uh, and you know anybody really to enjoy moving? Yeah, well, that's one of the, the wonderful things about Nia is that it's adaptable. It's adaptable for everybody in the room, and we want everybody to dance in their body, to be connected to their own body, their own moves, and start to get a sense of understanding how they move and to move for themselves, not to look like me, not to copy me, or to copy the person next to them. And so we have a lot of adaptable moves. And I also show modifications. We have levels, fitness levels, and so we model those. Great. And um, I mean, you've touched on it a little bit, but as we age, do you think movement almost becomes more important? Oh yeah, definitely. There is a, that saying, if you don't use it, you lose it, and that is actually true. If you do not move, then you actually lose the ability to move, and that's why movement is so important as we age, to never stop moving. I and you don't have to just you know, have a special dance class to do it, but you can do stuff around the house, and just keep moving. That, that brings up an interesting point. I mean, we've sort of proven tonight you can do it in a TV studio. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you can do it at home. Uh, talk to me about the importance of gym memberships. And I guess what I'm thinking is, do you think it's really important to do group classes for something like this, or really exercise in general? Well, I think it's really important to move. And I think it's really important to connect to how you move and to learn how to move. Um, there's a lot of things you can do at home. And I think it's also important that you don't look at, oh, I, I'm not at a gym or I'm not in a fitness class, so therefore I don't exercise or I can't exercise. You can be moving all the time. 
There's lots of things that you can be doing at home that can bring movement into your life. There's a lot of ways of moving in a, in a really healthy way. But what a NIA class does, or what often group fitness classes do, is they introduce the joy of community. And you connect with people, which is really important, especially as we age. It's so important to make connections. And whether or not you know the people that you're dancing with or you know the people that you're in a fitness class with, you see them each week and you look forward to arriving at that time and you're part of a community. And that's very important as well. So there's advantages to both. Love it. Um, I guess overall we're, we're not just talking about Nia tonight, we're talking about all sorts of forms of movement and uh, I know you do some mindfulness practices too. Is there a connection, the sort of mindfulness, wellness, how does it all fit together? Well, both Nia, I, I teach both Nia and I teach yoga, as you know, and both of those are practices that really invite the, the, part, the participant, the practitioner, to be in their body, to move from the inside out. And that's, that's the wellness, that's the mindfulness, and that's also moving holistically. So it's, you know, our movements are connected to our thoughts, how we live our life is connected to how we move, if you look at someone, you can, you can see how they've lived their life. And that's that, that wellness connection, that mind-body connection. I love it. Something mm -hmm. for us all to think about, yeah. obviously. Um, I'm, sort of, I'm sort of noticing a lot of pressure when you think about exercise to, what's the expression, no pain, no gain. Um, I mean, you sort of prove we were laughing, we were having a good time, your classes are like that. It, it, are, are we just being trained the wrong way to think about exercise? Well, truthfully, the, I mean, we all know what it feels like to be very happy in our body. If you go for a walk like outside, and especially on a nice spring day, soon we'll be able to open up the windows, and you feel it. You feel joyful. And so we have the ability inside of us to always access joy. Um, the body loves joy. It thrives on joy. It actually, it, that's how we heal. That's how we we. we we stay young. And so when we're in a place, a situation where we're putting pressure on ourselves, we're, we're, we're evoking stress, uh, we're actually aging our body a little bit quicker by, by, by being more stressful. We have enough stress in our life, um, so you don't need it when you exercise. Although, for some people that works really well for them. Um, but it's often, what, what I often see in my classes is people have grown out of that. They've grown out of killing themselves, going to the gym, and you know, they hate it, and it's, they've grown out of working out. And that's when they come to Nia class, or that's when they go to a yoga class, or even a Zumba class. That's when they start to discover the joy of movement, not the joy of working out. I mean, who wants to work? I don't. All right. Yeah, I want to play. I think it's a good transition, and, and you mentioned staying young through uh, exercise. And as we saw on the, the Nia floor, Alice Godet, she stays young, active. I think she's in better shape than all of us. No, she's not, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you guys discuss wait, wait, that. I'm not going to arm wrestle her. <laughs> so, Alice, um, actually, can I ask how young you are? I'll be 83 this year. That's worth celebrating. That's good. And, you know, when did you start doing the, I sort of asked Roseanne the th same thing. I looked through an open door and there was Roseanne. And so I said to her, uh, do you take seniors? And she said, we take everybody. So, in I walked. <laughs> And um, the music was great. Okay, so you're sort of hooked from the start and just very, kept very on going. Very much so. Yeah, and um, I mean, now how often do you do Nia? Five times a week. Wow, not all with Roseanne. No. Yeah, but I spread myself thin. Yeah. So, so there was some sort of transition. I know. Were you always in good shape and active and doing things like uh, no. I don't know in your younger years? Um, I was chubby and self-conscious. And uh, I never danced because I was wallflower material. Okay. <laughs> so, but and she liberated me because I always loved music and I'd sit there, but I couldn't do anything with it, you know. So, Nia was just what I needed. It's so good. I'm with it forever. Good. I think uh, I think a lot of people. You've convinced a lot of people. Um, how do you take it out of class? You know, Roseanne sort of always ends the class saying, "Okay, let's take this out into our day." Do you notice yourself sort of repeating moves later in the day or as you're walking uh, or thinking about it in any way? Well, like Roseanne said, you can do stuff around the house. If I go into the basement for the laundry, I put my toe on the step and drop my heels and 
If I'm at the sink brushing my teeth, I drop into knee bends. If I, and I have a couple of weights in the living room, so little things. That, and they don't take minutes, they take seconds. So when people say I don't have time, and I need to be in a class where the norm is up here, because if I were in a bunch of seniors, my norm would be starting to sink. So that's why I like being you would, in a mixed you would, bag. You would get them moving, Alice. You would have them, like, they'd be following your lead, but, you that know. That won't I'm, last forever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how long is it going to last? I don't know. <laughs> so uh, music, I know you're a big music fan. You'll, you'll tell uh, Roseanne to turn up some music. What, what do you like best in our class? Um, I grew up with jazz, classical first and jazz, fusion, and anything with percussion grabs me. Um, so and air guitar, she yeah, loves but, to air guitar. Oh, best, the best. <laughs> so uh, just a wrap up question: Is is getting old just all in the mind? Is this no. a myth? No, no. We <laughs> uh, first your hearing starts to go, and your eyesight, and your joints start to scream at you. So you take an aspirin and you go to Nia. Okay, and you fake it. You yeah. Know. Okay. Yeah. Well, this. I, Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, you know, there's, there's, there's all this attention on aging. Um, let's not age, the anti-aging cream. And I fall victim to it. If I'm in the store, I, I go right for the anti-aging cream. <laughs> but the reality is that we all have an expiration. Oh, we yes. all are going to expire. Yeah. So how are we going to choose to live is really the question. I and like that's that. what all this is about. All this movement for, you know, as we get older is about how do you want to choose to move is how you choose to live. And I know I want to choose to live well and I want to choose to die well. You know, I want to be healthy up until the last second. And I have a role model for that. Um, I'll try that's to what it's it. about. It's about choosing. Choosing joy over pain and over suffering. Heck yeah. And, yeah. That's the yeah. best perspective. And I think that's what we, you know, this whole navigating age 50 to 100 and maybe after 100, why not do it with joy and, and a little bit of patience mixed in and have some fun and move around. So thank you both. You're welcome. Thank F you. Yeah, it was really fun. So we'll be back uh, for another episode. Thanks for watching. Obviously, check us out on Facebook at Old and New TV and uh, send us show ideas. We'd love to hear from you. So I've been thinking about our last episode, and here's some takeaways from exercise, wellness, and movement. I think first, you gotta pick something that you really enjoy doing. And I can't help but wonder, you know, Alice picked Nia. She's able to sustain it. It's totally different than New Year's resolutions about, oh, I have to join a gym, or I have to have this really stringent regimen and I beat myself up if I don't. So sustainability, doing something you enjoy, and like Alice, picking a community that you enjoy doing it with and feeling great about it afterwards. I guess second, a little more holistic, we're all works of art. And by this I mean kind of taking movement and that form into our everyday life, taking it outside of the class. So in Neo, we were talking about a low uh, plane, a middle plane and an upper plane. So who knows, something as simple as taking your groceries, putting things away, and sort of arching up as you do it, there's ways you're applying these basic movement forms into something that's making you gonna feel good and appreciating that we're all individuals and we're all works of art. And then the last one, so I closed our interview with Alice saying, is, is this aging thing all in the mind? You know, you're so young, so vibrant, said, no, absolutely not. Age is a reality. There's things that are affecting her every day. There's things that are affecting all of us. And I guess, quoting my mom here, aging is not for sissies. But, you know, along the way, we can pick something like Nia or Zumba or yoga or anything else you enjoy doing and staying with it. And uh, keep on watching and keep on moving. Thanks.